four, three, two. Hey guys, second fan of the night. Second fan of the night. And we did do some behind the scenes footage, so you can go to patreon.com slash dspiffy for that. What do we have here, Rick? All right, so this is uh, Rick fan number two for tonight. Um, this is another Hunter R52. This one's about uh, 20 years newer than the last. Uh, but this is one of those kind of hard to find trumpet canopy rounded switch housing ones. Um, this one has the serial number of what is it, um, R, which corresponds to 1965. So this is out of that era where there really weren't a lot of fans made. And I've kind of always wanted one of these. Um, just they had there was a pretty infamous install of almost identical fans at Disney World. Granted, I've never been to Disney World, but I've seen a lot of pictures of it, and I always thought the install was super cool. And there actually is, to this day, a, a restaurant downtown Nashville, Indiana, that has one of these remaining in the back room. So I think I might have posted a picture of that at one point or another. Yeah. But Aren't these like what Kennywood and Pittsburgh has? Pretty much, yeah. The, I think that's minus the adapter. And I know, I, I know I am in the far minority, far, far minority, but I actually strongly prefer uh, standard, whatever standard irons are correct for the time period over adapter, just based on appearance. Um, so this one actually was a, uh, I don't know if I wouldn't, it's not really marketplace. There was a collector that was unloading a bunch of random motors and this was one of them. Did not have any blades or anything. All it basically had was the entire motor assembly and it had been painted brown probably twice at least. Like one was a very dark brown then the next was like a chocolate. I think, I'm pretty sure it was originally beige so that's why I repainted the entire thing in beige to kind of mimic the original finish. And the irons and blades are actually the ones that came with the eBay fan um, that I used to complete the Gary fan. So it ended up working out really well. These are probably like 70s, 80s era irons and blades. Um, obviously I painted the irons. I think two of them are brass and two of them are white if I'm not mistaken. But And again, painted them beige to match and uh, what you see is what, it, what the final product is. So original leveler pull chain too. So point of order, these would have been much older than 70s, 80s blades because they're walnut, not pecan. I don't know when they switched from walnut to pecan, but it wouldn't. It would. It definitely wasn't after 75. Okay. So the blades are era appropriate okay. for the motor. Well, I don't know about the irons. Um, I thought at least two of them said R and M on them. I think. I mean, but then again, I guess they've yeah. always been R and M. So yeah, I'm not really 100 percent sure. I mean, they're not original to this motor, but they look correct. So I discovered recently that this that Andy and I both have the same variation of original as our favorite, which is ironic because we grew up in the same area, but I don't think he saw that variation around here. Um, and I kind of did. So this is my favorite variation of original other than that I prefer adapter over standard irons, but I, all, I, I like this version with the standard irons as well. Um, I, I've talked at great length, but I'll mention again, the, the where I saw them would be the um, the R36s or whatever they would have been uh, at, at the ice cream parlor. That's the closest thing that we found is the one in my uh, uh, upstairs bathroom that has the trumpet canopy. Basically, that was the fan that was in the ice cream parlor. So this, but 36 inch. And then there was two of those, one over each doorway. And then Ponderosa had brass adapters with the canopy that would have come right after this, which is the, like, it looks like a vaulted ceiling canopy, but it wasn't always a vaulted ceiling canopy. It started out as their low profile canopy. Um, of the Ponderosas around here, one had that canopy, one had the like actual vaulted ceiling canopy with the wider hole, and then one had the um, standard canopy on a vaulted ceiling, ironically. Interesting. Yeah, so was, all of their installs were kludgy, but it's clear they were just buying up whatever brass adapters they could get. So yeah, this is my favorite variation of original, and I like this very much, and I'm very excited to uh, test it, and I'm very excited that Rick uh, brought it here today. Anybody else want to say anything before we start? Mm, not quite. Um, not, not, not much I can say that hasn't been said. It's uh, yeah, kind of my exactly. favorite version of original slash original predecessor. The kind of mid-century uh, variant. I, I always like. The, I was always kind of after one of these because again, it's out of that era where there just were not a lot of ceiling fans available. I mean, right. they were kind of out of vogue in the fifties and sixties because of air conditioning becoming mainstream. Right. So, so you the, see. A, you see a lot of those kind of 40s R52s, yeah. like the last one we tested, yeah. and you see a lot of the um, early 80s uh, two and a half amp uh, yeah. R and M's, but you don't see that period in between. Right. I just don't think there were a lot of fans made or sold for that matter. But. All right. Well, um, it is set to uh, its factory low again. This is a three speed, uh, much like the last one on a speed coil. So here is the factory low. 
Okay. Break your sheep. The sheep say hi. 1.71. It's dropping. 91 watts. Power factor of... Yeah, I think this is quieter than the last yeah, one. It actually might be a little bit, yeah. So, okay. Um, let's see. Getting 453. It's a little bit faster than the last one. All right. Okay. Back to medium. Yeah. 113. Last one was like 90-something on low. I went with a cloth uh, pull chain. Yeah, I, I like it. That was kind of those it, look good on the originals. It does. All right, so here's our factory medium. It's dropping still. Six eighty three. Before you change it, Andy. I don't know, that's 171. I want to uh, just go through these again to see if it changes as it drops. It, then they do. Okay, go ahead. Straight high. Leveler's fun. I love leveler's. It's too bad they're not super reliable. Yeah. Well, this one was almost partially broken. Like I was you got one right up there. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's always a good idea to lubricate them with a little foil or WD-40 to mm. prevent them from breaking. This is, let me check the voltage, the line voltage, because we're a little on the high side. Drop it down. Oh wow, that's very on the nose. One point. Now it didn't change it that much. We're right at two amps on this one, which is a little bit higher. It's rated at one nine, right? One point nine. What voltage is it rated at? Does it say? One ten to one twenty. Interesting. Yeah. So the one nine is probably on the one ten side. Yep. Okay. Wow. Okay. So that's that's definitely taking out some air. Yeah. Be curious to see which one drops. I was yeah, I was wondering which, which one performs more. more. So okay, so this one's definitely slower. Eight forty-two. Eight forty-two. Yeah. Two eleven. So it's not that different. The other one was like two thirty, I think. But yeah, definitely. Let's see which one is more of the airflow. Do watts and power factor? I don't remember. It's only drawn 136 watts. That's the I'm seeing 610. No, 630. So it's a little yeah. less powerful than the other one. Yeah, 630 is the highest I'm seeing. So that is um, about 9300, which I would still. I mean, we got. We'll have to look at our at our spreadsheet and finalize some numbers. But if I had to guess, I'd say that like. K55 category is 7,000 to 9,000, and so 9,000 and up is antique and industrial category. So this would solidly still be into the antique and industrial category. Yeah. Which nice and smooth, and smooth too, yeah. Now. Considering these irons and blades, I don't even think are from the same set. <laughs> At least the irons aren't. I don't think. Yeah, I think the blades ha look like the they blades are, are. I think two irons are actually from a different set because two of them were brass underneath and two were white underneath. Underneath what? Oh, they were brown. Right, because so so they this whole fan was painted brown at least twice, even though it was beige from the factory. So yeah. I redid it in beige to kind of match that. Yeah, for some reason I thought the irons were brass, but no, just the faith plate. Faith plate, just the faith plate with brass. No, the faith plate was 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 all brown. Every the, the whole fan. No, was, the, the the irons came from. Oh yeah, yeah. Two of the irons were brass, and then two were white, even though they were all painted black because they went with the. Fan. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying when I kind of sanded them down some, I noticed they were factory finishes were not the same. It also yeah. could have been Hunter doing the thing where they had rejects and then they just painted them. We've definitely seen that. Yep, they did do that. From Hunter as well as other brands. Mm -hmm. Good long spin down on this yeah, one. Yeah, I think the oh, oil, yeah. oil definitely worked through as it was running for a little bit. Yeah, like I said, if it's, if, if it's dirty, WD-40. If it's clean oil and if you're not sure or if you if it's if it's somewhere in between then alternate and uh because wd-40 is going to eat through whatever existing crud or metal shavings or like chemicals or anything that's left but then it doesn't give you a real frick it doesn't give you like a you know yeah I could, you get some it's just it's still kind of metal on metal if there's no other oil in there um 
but then if you just put oil in there, it won't get everywhere it needs to go if there's if, if there's still blockages. So again, that's why alternating works well. Yeah, so we're just running WD-40 since it's you know, kind of a fresh. Yeah. Okay, well, that was a decent spin down. So 10 switch. Yeah. 10 switch. Um, I, I'm going to say no on this one as well. I'll, I'll also say no. I'll gamble and say right on 10. Okay, well, I guess I'm trying to be difficult and different. And if he said right on 10, everybody else says no, I guess I'll say yes, whatever that means. Which I guess is kind of the same as Andy, but not really. I mean, that, that would mean if it starts and we have to go back down to the lower number, okay. and that yours would be nine mm-hmm. or under would be yes. Okay, oh. so it does start on 10. Okay. So let's... then now it's between me and Andy. Okay, that's impressive. All right, so let's let's go through the regular rig then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, crunch, 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 nine. I see it budge, but... Is it going to keep it's going? It's like trying. If it's it keeps going, on. then I win. And if it stops, then Andy wins. It's like inching. It's, it's literally inching. It's, e- it's either going to hit... It's either at a rough spot and it'll get faster, or it's at a... Ooh. Wow, okay. So that's actually really impressive That's starting that early. You just never know with Shaded Pole. No, you don't. Okay, so nine is where it nice starts. One. Impressive. Okay. Being a contrarian has paid off at least once. Yeah, okay. So, all right, here's 10. Here, throw me those Cheetos. Oh, no. Don't don't remind Pete. We've had silent. You want some nerds, Pete? Oh, sure. Yeah. There's some ruffles right here. No, don't. You're, you're already missed eight. You're already, yeah, the no, fan, no. The you can't, you can't, you can't if crunching count. is negated if it's not spinning. Oh, on, that, on those values. I think that's, I think we determined that. All right, that well, is definitely the rule. All right, well, here's 11. So you can check the prairie slot. And now that nobody crunches until we have the announcement first. That's this is the new we're changing we're changing it up every so often. All it right. used to be that we warned people about the sound. Now we have And this is twelve. And now a word from our sponsor. Crunch, crunch, right. crunch, 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 crunch. And this will be the new one until we think of something else. Alright. Honestly, twelve is a pretty nice aesthetic low. It is. It's a restaurant low. Mm-hmm. Atmospheric it's, it's low. Atmospheric low. Oh, Dan, that looks magnificent with that atmospheric low. Right, What's the pizza place that has the uh, R fifty twos? Frank's. Frank's, where's that? Chicago. Oh yeah, yeah. With the, with, no, those are actually type fifty two. Type fifty two. Those are thirties. Nice. The owner was sure they were from nineteen hundred, but I think what happened is some antique dealer pulled his leg thirty years ago. Yeah, as it seems like. <laughs> They probably have a patent date on them from like 1901 or something like that. Yeah. That happens a lot. Yeah, no, we, we could tell by the serial number. They were like late 30s, but... That's still pretty old. It's oh, still, yeah, it's still 100 years old at this point. Yeah. Okay, so this is 14. That's more functional, though. Mm-hmm. Here's 15. And 16. Dead silent so far. Silent. Eight, twelve, and twenty. Oh, that's why. Go. That's why you're only allowed to chew. Seventeen. At specific rated intervals. Got to regulate it somehow. Here's eighteen. I gotta be honest. I was not expecting this. I thought if anything, this one was gonna be more gummy than the other one. And in fact, I was very wrong. Did you open this one and clean it out too, yeah, like the other yeah, one? Probably even more thoroughly on this one than the other because I painted the rotor on this one. I think the other one just needs to like run, like run WD forty through it, run it on high for like overnight, then, get some then rub oil, run oil through it, run it on high overnight, and just repeat until it's freed up. Because if you already clean, you already opened it up and cleaned it out, right? Yeah. So yeah, unless something in the in the bearing stack is upside down, there's really it's nothing not, else you could do. No, it's not. I definitely. Yeah. Sure. Do not do that. Yeah, then it's just having to get all the also, parts back acclimated with each other. Okay. And one. And now a word from our sponsor. Crunch, 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 crunch. You can't you gotta you gotta wait for the word from our sponsor. Well. Alright. And twenty one. Yeah, this is a This is a good runner. Yeah. And dead silent so far, except for just like a little bit of uh Point two. 
Yeah, there's a realistic chance this might make an appearance in my kitchen at some point. I, I want to see it in your living room. I mean, it looked good in the kitchen, too, but I really liked the SMC in the kitchen. To me, that is too perfect. SMC in the kitchen. Like a, the eight, or an 8A52 that you got from Reese? Oh, well, well that, I mean, that's been down for a while. I know, but I liked it a lot. That, that one was, yeah, I liked that one a lot, too. That, that one in the well, If you're not going to hang it, give it to me. No, that one in the tie up are still my two favorites I've ever had. Oh, I forgot about that tie up. That, 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 that white, or white and copper. Yeah, thing. that looked really good there. I love that one. I, that one I'm tempted to put up again some more. I mean, would you put a globe on this if you put it in the kitchen? I probably have to. I kind of need to. Because I, I really need an overhead light. That's, that's why I like it better in the living room. But I think with a round globe, it would look very. I, would, I could get a, The only thing I'd have to do is I'd have to custom drill a fitter to match those screws because those aren't the standard. Like yeah, but that'd be But that's yeah, otherwise, yeah, it'd be easy. Okay, so this is 23, here's 24. What did, what did John have? Uh, right around two. Okay, so here's 25. Twenty-six. Yeah, it's gonna be the it's next. Gonna go up yeah. Real quick. Yeah, and twenty-seven. Uh, it's probably over. Yeah, we're okay. definitely over there. Okay, so no higher than twenty-six. You know what's nice about it? What? Crunch, crunch, crunch. It's quiet. <laughs> what's next? Solid state? Yes. So what do you think? How do we think it's going to do in the solid state? Ooh. I'm going to give this one living room, I think. I'll give it bedroom. Andre? Mm. I'll say silent. That leaves me with what? Uh, loud, I guess, again. But I don't think it's going to be loud, but I'll take it. I think bedroom has it. I think it's, yeah, it's like, like the last one. Yep. Okay. Okay, so what do we think it's going to peak out at on the inrush? It's high, high is right around two amps. I'll say 2.25. Two point one. I'll go two point four. Okay. Yeah. I'll go. I guess I I don't want to be a jerk and go two point uh uh two point two six like the price you know the one dollar Bob so I'll go two point three. Mm -hmm. And let's 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 be quiet. Yeah, let's be quiet. I don't know if this one was pronounced. But... <laughs> oh, I was, but we weren't down yet. Now we're down. Pete hit it on the nose, 2.4. Oh, wow. Wow, okay. Impressive. Right on the nose. Okay. Okay, is that everything? I yes. believe so, yeah. Okay, yeah. well, um, we don't really need a ranking from Rick, because we know, yes. you know, any any fan that Rick restores is going to be avocado yeah, plants. That's, yeah. uh, do we need a ranking from Andy? It's, I think it's pretty clear this is an F5 tornado. That is the very highest ranking. <laughs> Um, I will clarify from the last video that this is definitely the top end of Menards. This is up there with any other fan that I love. Um, the, uh, yeah, the people, the Terra, the Gold Line, the Blender fan, the I fan, all the fans that I love. Um, this if, is... If Dan had, like, ten minutes to steal things from my apartment, this would be, this would one, be one of them. This would be one of them. This, the <laughs> Shrouded Blender, the A52 we were just talking about, probably the Rick Blender's. Um, what else would I take? Anything else come to mind yeah, immediately? That, that, uh, that half, that two foot half piper, I know that'd be gone. Oh yeah, that two foot half piper would probably be gone. <laughs> um, if I get enough two foot half pipe pipers, I can make a whole piper. Uh, your metalness? Oh, that's definitely extreme metal. Yeah, it seems pretty metal. I love how I usually bring fans that barely even chart on the metal list, and all today it's been like two high tier metal. Yeah, Rick's got to bring more trailer trash fans next time. Yeah, no, his, I bring more like SMCs and garbage. Yeah, a few fans and yeah. <laughs> Dull. Okay, well let's thank our curb fans from the. Yeah. Yeah, that, well, Pete actually really likes that design house. That's one of the reasons I pulled it from the curb. This is organ room. We got to do those brown spinners, too. Okay, well, um, yeah, I, I bet it is organ room because Jonas likes antiques. 
Yeah. Okay, well, let's uh, thank our sponsors, Fanstick, Lightstick, Taco Burrito Mexico, Sperry the Beverage of Fan Collectors, Good Manufacturing Company. For when excellent is too much. Excellent is too much. Yeah. A1220 LLC, where our motto is... Crunch, 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 crunch. Um, Rick or Sheep, a fun game you can play with your friends. Go to uh, rickersheep.com. Udong Batteries, when I think of batteries, I think of Udong. Uh, power <laughs> Vacuum, the vacuum with more vacuums. Is that all the sponsors? Mm, I believe so. Okay, well, it's time to close out the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Do all those things. Patreon. Oh, wait, who's that at the door? Oh, my. Why, look, it's Metal Jonas. Oh, lovely hunter. <laughs> oh, that is organ room. <laughs> that is definitely organ room. Magnificent. Oh, do you have any... Do you have any hunter catalogs? Oh, uh, yes, we have the one for 1997. Oh, marvelous, marvelous. <laughs> and do you have any Emerson catalogs? Yes, the, the Sears one from 1978. Oh, oh, what do you think of House on the Rock, Metal Jonas? Oh, House on the Rock. One word, incredible. One, one word, word, overwhelming. One, one word, word, amazing. Wow. wow. Everybody, thanks for watching and. Bye, Bye fanstick! <laughs>